Hi guys and welcome to another Red Gaming Tech first impressions review with myself, Marta. Today we're having a look at a game by the name of Only If, which is a free-to-play title currently available on Steam, developed by Creability, as you can see. Their Facebook page is there if you wish to check them out. Now, as you guys may know if you've watched one of our first impressions before, we normally start a little bit into the game, like past any tutorials and whatnot, just so you guys get a proper taste of the gameplay, but I actually feel with this game it's better to start from the beginning. Now I have played a little bit, but basically I'm going to be going back to the start so you guys can see it from the beginning. I just feel like you'll be missing out on the weirdness, the surrealness of the story, and I don't want to spoil it if you decide to play it for yourself. Now this is quite a surreal game, kind of a puzzle game in more ways than one. Um, basic premise is guy goes to a party, has too much to drink and wakes up in a very surreal world with this man on the radio who is very much helping you but is he really? But I think the best way to show you the game is to show you the game. Now before I go any further, there is an options menu, it's just outside of the game at a launcher as it is a Unity title. Anyway. the party would be this big. How am I going to blend in? Okay. Space. I hope Sam likes me. What? everyone oh um anyone who can tell me who that is gets a prize sam Ooh. um huh. i don't know good sir Pro tip, you probably don't want to find out what it is. Sure, I just I was I was running away from darkness or something, and I, I think I knocked on your wardrobe or wait, door. Wait, 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 wait! You know what? I don't want to hear. Wow. Well, okay, fine. But if you want to get out of here alive, you gotta trust me. Okay? Okay. Let's start with you moving over to that mirror. M wait, mirror? Wait, where? Start looking for it! You blithering idiot! You dumb nut! Sorry. Wait. Wait. <laughs> wait this guy on the radio has some anger issues. <laughs> There's no mirror, brah. Pro tip. Oh. Oh. You know why I need you to look up to the fucking mirror, son? So I can see your face, you ugly fuck! Why don't you take it down and see who is behind the mirror? This guy needs to get his anger issue sorted out before he like dies of a blood pressure like thing or something. Where are you? I can use this. You know, we can use this. You see, it's it's not that hard for you to trust me. It's no harm, no foul. I or don't trust you, son. You see that key over there? Key. Get it and get at it. And you might just live to see another day. Um, or you could stay and wait because I actually did call the cops and, you know, I, I just feel generous by, by giving you that small chance to escape. 
Wait, where's the key? I, I can't find the key. Wait, wait a minute, Snowflake. You see that clock behind you? I want to get your, get your eyeball, okay? And glue it. Glue it to the clock. See, now you got one minute. One minute to find the key, scram, or stay and face the fucking consequences. Yeah, right. This is probably going to be good for me. Or... Hmm, I probably don't want to find out what would happen. I know where it is anyway, so it's fine. Le, le, le. This is about as far as I got, so we're now in it together. Why? Wait, how? How do you know my name? Why are you doing this? What's going on? Don't be too hasty now, son. <laughs> we don't want you getting hurt now, do we, before you get to see your girl. Hang on. What? One of these doors lead to your freedom, but sacrifices Samantha Graves, while the other door sacrifices yourself to save Samantha Graves. That is genuinely crazy. <laughs> that is really <laughs> weird. I actually know some one of my friends has that exact name. That is really bizarre. Playing to your heartbeat. Get it? Heartbeat? Yeah. <laughs> no tune. Yeah, I get it. I get it, you lame fuck. Both doors use one key. With fire comes life. But what is life when it sits still in four pieces? Stay here and eternally complement this still life or go out with a burning boom. What kind of boom? That all depends on the death of a pawn. Now it's time to decide whether you're gonna go for the big dick or small dick ending, Anthony. Was that supposed to be a riddle? Oh, I actually did notice something on the ceiling earlier. It said, save the black pawn. So, I'm going to trust the game. This is probably going to end badly, but... Well, I'm definitely saving this up. Uh... Hello? It's ridiculous. I have no idea what to do. Choose one pawn. How do you hear that? Rip all pieces of still life and bring them to life with fire. How hard can that be? Uh, okay. Bring them to life with fire. Okay, there's a couple of candles here, but I can't touch them. Uh, is there anything else in here that I've missed? Let's have a look. Let me see. No. There's a fireplace. Is there anything in here? No? Um... Took a still life oh, painting. Ah! I think I need more of this. Ah, okay. Alright. Um... That's not anything there, is it? New... Is that that's not a still life because there's something in it, I think. Oh no, it is, apparently. Is that it? Is that all of them? I think so. E. The black pawn's death will create darkness. Darkness creates fear. And your fear of death will bring you the key that shrunk from the black smoke in the vent. Mr. Anthony. <laughs> The tiny key complements your tiny dick quite well, don't you think? Um, no, actually. You twat. Save yourself. Oh. Yes, please. I would like to save myself. Anthony, I hope you're proud of your decision. The least of my cares, I hope you're right in hell for the things you've done to me. <gasps> Oh, uh, what the? How dare you kill my little girl? What the? Daughter? Hey, Anthony, are you okay? You okay? What are you doing? What the fuck is this? Uh, did I make uh, the wrong call? Shut up, 
Help me with this kid, would you? Fine, fine, Vinny, you got it. What the? Who is this fuck? Some kid I saw at Sam's party, you know. He was one of those testy boys. And he failed. So I let him have it. Wait. You gave him the D? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, he gave me the D. <laughs> Oh. Alright, listen up. We're gonna bury this kid at the bottom of the lagoon using this. Dynamite? You're gonna bury him under the lagoon with a windmill on top of this kid's head? I ain't no madman, but isn't this a bit overkill? This is what I like to call a clean Oh shit. <laughs> Buried the sequel. Oh god. Um, that escalated quickly. I <laughs> moved towards the light. I have no idea what's happening. Literally none. Am I moving forward? I I can't actually tell. No. Okay, um what's this? Press space. Did I... Did I not press space enough? <laughs> I'm so confused what is happening. I guess I didn't press space enough. Let's try that again, shall we? I made it. Pressy, pressy. This guy is completely not so. What is going on? This game is more weird than I realized. I guess he's almost passing out since he did get blown up and was drowned and you know all that weird shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, are they ever gonna... oh. I thought he was waiting for them to leave or something, because I can still hear the engine. I guess not. I guess not.
Do, do, do. So every party ends, isn't it? This happens to me all the time. Oh, ow. I'm, de <laughs> I'm dead again. <laughs> wow, okay. How many times can you die within the space of five minutes? Oh god, not this. Right, so I finally made it past that little bit. It was very annoying to get past. Um, you basically have to stick close to the water, otherwise you will get spotted and they'll kill you. Um, oh shit. What the hell? Um, yeah, that was kind of annoying to get past, but at least I've done it now. This guy's a bit of a soldier, I'll give him that. Ooh, that ain't good. Oh, apparently I didn't do it fast enough. Okay, good to know. I can't run. I can just kind of... Eat, 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 eat. No! This game is definitely a lot more surreal than I realised, but I'm actually really liking it, and obviously it's free as well, which is a bit surprising. I think they easily could have charged for this title. Wow, really? How fast do you need to press it? Yeah, Mum. Maybe you have to go a certain way to avoid that happening. It's possible. Okay, I physically can't go that way. I can't go that way because it's burning, so I have to go this way. Oh, oh come on, I was hammering E! Okay, creability, I really like the game you've made, but you need to sort this out because it's actually kind of annoying. I'm pressing E for my life and on certain bits it's just not good enough and it's kind of annoying. Pro tip. And I feel like I'm going the wrong way but there is no other way for me to go. I can't go that way. I can't go that way, that's the way I came. So literally, the way I'm going is the only way for me to go. I wonder actually if when that that big that big ball of darkness starts coming towards me, if I have to actually move backwards. Alright guys, I think I want to call the video there. I think you've got a pretty decent impression of this game. Um, definitely have some annoyances with it. Um, to be honest, I think they need to improve how sensitive the press E thing is and also how much warning it gives you because there's one section I physically can't get past because, well, before even press E appears, it's already basically put pitch black darkness. Now, Oh, you could say, well, maybe you're going the wrong way, but it's literally the only way to go. So if I'm doing something wrong, if you've gotten past this bit, do let me do let me know because I actually want to play more of it. I actually like the idea of this game. Very surreal, kind of reminds me of Amnesia a little bit. Um, and it's free as well. So I'd say if you want something a little bit different, then look no further than only if. And I'll see you next time.